So this piece comes from my Easy Classical Guitar Volume 1, um, and this is the 2020 edition of the book. So I've replaced some, some of the other pieces with these nice, authentic um, Renaissance lute pieces, that are, which are nice and easy, around the grade 1 to 3 level. And there's pieces from each time period in this book. So this is from the Renaissance, and it's an anonymous lute work that I've transcribed from the lute tablature. This anonymous lute work um, could be played at multiple speeds. Um, because of the, those quick 16th note passages, um, a relatively slow tempo is recommended for beginners. If you go a little bit faster, then those 16th notes will be a little bit quicker. If you want to do a faster tempo, but take those 16th, uh, make the, that passage easier, you could leave out the, the B in bar four and just go. Which would just take out one of the 16th notes. Or you could slur the first 16th notes. Do a pull off. That could also make it easier, but I just recommend going at a reasonable tempo that's appropriate for your level. Um, whatever that level may be, just pick a tempo where those are manageable and then play the piece as beautifully as possible um, with that in mind. There's not too many things to talk about in this piece. Um, play the melody on its own, of course. Those are the, all the notes with the stems going up. If there's two notes with stems going up, it's the upper one. Go through the whole piece, make sure you can play it a legato with a nice rhythmic structure of cut time. So in cut time, it would just be one, two, one, two. And that gives you a little bit of structure to the beat. So for example, at the end of that first two bars, you know, play the last beat quite softly. Um, you don't, you do not want this. So just because it's a chord playing it loud, it should be soft um, on the offbeat. I would almost prefer to leave out the second bass note. Um, the manuscript for this is a little faded in a few spots, so um, I've and there's a couple of errors in terms of the the number of beats per bar and stuff like that. So I've I've arranged it with what I think is the most reasonable um, solution to those problems. It's not important though, um, it's just a nice little anonymous lute work um, from the 16th century. And um, not too many difficulties, just, just some like chords to deal with and some um, faster passages, so just take that slow. Make sure when you're playing some of the passage that you're using the correct fingerings for all those parts. This little passage here, um, just make sure that the fourth finger is ready to go and that it's swung around and it's right there to hit that F sharp. Not like this, where you have to leap into it or anything like that. Just keep the hand positioned so that it's just a small movement of that fourth finger in order to get that F sharp. But that's pretty much it. It's just a really beautiful little piece that you can try and have a nice flowing rhythm and legato musical lines, and um, with a nice kind of like, almost a little bit of a dancey kind of bounce to it.